That's right. I look like a total piece of crap right now because I am enjoying this vacation before I go back to school. And because I'm a little bit too busy, not really, just trying to fill up time slots because there's a lot of stuff I'm producing right now. I guess time capsule, remember that. Uh, I wanted to do something a little bit cool and kind of retarded if you think about it. I'm going to cook some shiznits today. Right, I don't know what the this is, I think this would be. Uh, so today's dish is going to be lemon pepper chicken with a side of that pasta and mashed potatoes. Now keep in mind, I'm not a professional chef, I'm no Gordon Ramsay, and this is going to be fun. I kind of want to experiment. <laughs> Plus, it's, it gets me out of the norm of doing vlogs. I hope this, this isn't a vlog, this is not a vlog. I refuse to do vlogs, this is just cooking. Alright, I want to try it, see what happens. Just being retarded until I can actually produce something, which is coming up soon. Because I want to go back to my old stuff. And in the movies, I'll see you always. The time is currently, let me check, 1 or 3. It's right here on my adventures phone. And we should be close to doing fine. And if you hear little footsteps, that's my dog. She's right here. Give me a second. Hey, Bubbles. Bubbles. Hey, how you doing? How are you doing scratching yourself? Silly dog. I got this little thing, it's a pan, it's a bowl pan, whatever, uh, get out of the camera, get my rice, it's a way you make rice apparently, so you gotta wash it out a little bit and then you boil the out of it, so rice, there it goes, so we're gonna start off with that, <laughs> yeah, not good already, <laughs> and then we're gonna get this combat out of here, if you don't know what this is, it's still, uh, you know, Tortillas. This is gonna be fun. I already like it so far. I'm gonna kill myself. This is great. Also, we got our. All right, y'all. So we got our rice. Uh, it's a little bit too uh, it's big of a pot. So now we gotta pull it down over here. Pour some water up in this. There you go. Fill up. Fill up. We're making some, some rice right now. Uh, I think that should be good. And now oh, this is a little bit heavy. I'm gonna go up in here, let that shiznit boil, and when it starts puffing up, we'll be all good. So while we wait for that, I'm going to more than likely start on the mashed potato. Uh, the chicken can wait. And I don't know about that, but chicken's gonna have to wait for a while. So I'll catch up with you guys on how this goes. For now, I'm gonna make mashed potatoes, but that's actually pretty easy to do, so I'm not gonna record that at all. So we got our mashed potato trying to work its magic over there. We still got our rice. So you know, everything's doing pretty good. Got ACDC on my phone, that's butter. I just ate a spoonful of it, don't ask why. So uh, while I wait for those two, you know, I should probably just wait for those two. Uh, I'll move on to this in a few minutes. And then we get to the main event, the chicken. Hopefully this camera's charged by then. I should've charged this a long time ago, to be honest. Alright y'all, so uh, got my rice up in here, it's starting to boil, mashed potatoes, let me give that little bit of a thing right there, should be doing just fine, oh that's cool, I wish I recorded that, maybe next time, it did a little disintegrating thing, it's really cool, uh, mashed potatoes right there are getting a fix done, let's see, instructions real quick, instructions are remove from heat, once it starts boiling, Stir in milk and potato flakes with a fork. Potatoes are a desired consistency. Consistency. You can't really see it. Oh, there it goes. And the rice is boiling. I can tell right away what's going on. So I, the next tip is to like, uh, put a lid over it. 
so I'm gonna look for a lid. Uh, I think this one works just fine. I can, nope, that does not work fine. The fucking thing is broken. Uh, so much noise. Uh, this could work just fine, honestly. Unless it coppers or anything. I think it works, but I'm gonna keep looking for one. Uh, I'll, t I'll be honest with you, like, all the lids from all these things are lost. We need to go get new ones. I'm trying to, like, match which one it goes with the rice. Uh, I'll be honest, so I'm gonna keep it really, really cheap. I'm just gonna leave that one on. I'll check on the rice in a few. Uh, mashed potatoes. So far, you know, it's boiling. I don't even think it's boiling, like, it could pop it out by now. But I'm just trying to check on how everything's going. Alrighty, I'm just gonna check on this. Uh, how do I do this? In medium saucepan, bring one and one half cups of water, one and one half of milk, margarine. Why does everything need margarine? We just use butter. Uh, stir it, contents of package and return to a boil. Reduce heat and continue boiling gently for 90 minutes. Let strand at least two minutes, stir and serve. I can also microwave it, but I don't think I wanna try that. Oh my god. This better be good. Like, I better not be like, tricked into something. Oh shit, I gotta let the simmer a bit. So I'm gonna lower the heat of this. And, oh, nope, nope, that's scary. <laughs> that's scary. Yeah, I'll let that simmer, and if it starts like leaking and a giant fire erupts, I'm screwed. But that's gone. Give me a second. Y'all, all right, y'all. So I made some progress. These mashed potatoes took way too damn long to be cooked, but I did it. Cooked. I got cheese. I'm proud. My rice is looking sharp and dandy. So we did all this stuff so far. We got the side dishes. Now let's move on to our main attraction, which is this. And then our chicken, or Chinese. I'm kidding, Bubbles, Bubbles, I'm kidding. You're not Chinese, okay? I love you. We're definitely gonna make chicken, it's in there. So this one's rice, this one's mashed potatoes. For shot, got my spoon here. All right, now real quick. Uh, I'm a bit nervous. Milk to this product. 
to turn on. Oh, there you go. We're gonna add our milk in it. Oh, here it goes. Soy sauce right now. So I love soy sauce. You can't eat white rice without soy sauce. Soy sauce is good. It's good for your health. Okay, it's not. It's bad. It's really salty. Really salty, like uh, half of the comments during my stand-up special. JK, So I just opened it. Uh, it smells. Mhm. Mm smells great. Uh, it's good by next year of May. So we're gonna wait for this to boil. I thought this was over 80. And after this, I'll put everything in its rightful container. And then we move on to the meal. The big the big prize, the cock. Let's just chicken. I don't think chicken is meant for cock. I think that's meant for a rooster, but you know what? This is my cooking show, okay? I really don't have anything else to do right now. I'm not bored. Okay, I'm we'll just waiting for this to boil and we'll see how this turns out. So I wasn't paying attention, right? I'm gonna turn this off real quick. Um, uh, okay. Turn off! Oh no. Oh no. <laughs> see, you don't believe it. Oh, it's on. Yeah. That happened. I didn't get to record it. I just exploded on me. I was cleaning dishes, listening to Take Me Home Country Roads, and this happened. <laughs> I hate you. But really, I hate you right now. You know how much I have to clean right now? Son of a bitch. Well, after that whole incident, uh, let's put these things in. I'm pretty sure it's boiled at this point. It's foamed up and exploded on okay, me, so. Oh, she's beautiful! Look at that. Hey, that smells terrible. It's really good. Excuse me, almost. It smells fantastic. I can't wait. This one's gonna fail. This one's gonna definitely fail. Oh my god. Um, I don't even want to imagine what the chicken's gonna be like. like I need to cut it into pieces and put lemon pepper on it right here and parsley. I don't have to put parsley, but personally I like it. Okay, so uh, yeah, <laughs> this is gonna be something else. It explodes on me again. So I was supposed to be stirring this thing. I threw away the package on accident, as you saw. Gently steering it. Gotta make sure it doesn't boil crazy on me. Oh, it's my noodle. It's my friend. Hit him up. I think so. Hit him up, I guess. It's the whole meal mark. Anyways, so, uh, you know, all my steer this, there's been a lot of steering lately. The mashed potatoes was the one that I hated. I don't know about this. 
but so far, I'm feeling confident in this. I'm just glad I turned off the heat in this one, because the moment it boiled over, so much stuff would have gone down. It would have been bad. Like the fire really erupted. A fire almost erupted, but you know. I'm a fire marshal. I'm just kidding, I'm not. You get me? So I just gotta wait for the pasta to like simmer up. You get me? Like just puff itself up. And it should be just fine. I don't know what else to say. I'm just kinda like winking it. This has been a pretty funny thing. Instructions say. Instructions say sterile content. A package and return to a boil. Reduce heat and continue boiling gently for 11 minutes or until pasta is tender. Let's stand at least two minutes, stir, and serve. This is gonna take longer than two fucking minutes. <laughs> I can throw it away now at this point. And I can go back to doing the dishes if I need to. Alright, so I'm trying a new approach. So I'm doing the same thing I did with the rice. I'm gonna check on it. Uh, it's still boiling. You can see it. A little steam. Ooh! Ow, fuck that. <laughs> uh, yeah, I got a little steam. Got a little spoon as well to do this. Let me check on the. Yeah, it should be. Should be good. I think I burned the fuck out of it though. So, here's what I'm gonna do I'm gonna turn it off. I'm gonna let it stand. And if it's not really you know, puffed up by the time I get back, I failed. I'm just gonna keep trying. I already got my rice. Get out of the spoon my rice in a bowl would be really nice. Hopefully there's enough for the family to make it cool for the whole family. One also don't believe enough to, you know, eat for a week. Still not moving on to the still not moving on to the chicken until I'm done with all the side dishes. I also don't know put all the mashed potatoes in. Which I still gotta fix that too. I'm gonna fix that right now. Other than that, you know. We should be fine moving forward. Should be fine. Alright, so after a while, this is how it looks. Uh, I fixed it up a bit, put some salt. I needed it, uh, tested it the first time, so. We had a taste test with all the other ones. Uh, here it goes. This is the uh, Alfredo Fettuccine. I don't know what that one is. The shells. Mission failed. We'll get them next time. <laughs> Why you gotta be so shellfish? Alright, I'm gonna stop now. It's very not bad at all. That's really good, actually. Mmm. Wow. Oh, okay. yeah. Oh. I know it's a bit, uh... Damn, I'm actually impressed. That's pretty good. I'm going to let it stand for a bit. I think I'll go ahead and set it. But other than that, we're done with all our side dishes. Now we're moving on to the main event, the chicken. God help me. That part. I have no idea what the fuck I'm going to be doing for that part. After a, after a brief, uh, long wait, this thing actually turned out pretty fucking it turned out the way I expected it, and yeah. So now we're gonna go on to the main event. My is all here. We got the mother rice. We got the mother mashed potato. We got the tenderizers. We should be ready to roll with the main event. All right. So we got everything we need: tenderizers and the chicken. Grateful. And what we need for this chicken is simple. We're going to get a really sharp knife and one cutting board. What we're going to do is we're going to cut them into little tiny pieces and it's going to be good. And God help my soul because I never really... I mean I have before but like... I kind of hate grabbing chicken. It's so weird. I wish I bought gloves for this but... You know what they say? My mama didn't raise no My mama didn't raise no So we're gonna make some chicken. It feels so gooey. Fuck. Oh god, here goes. Mmm. Oh! She's beautiful! Fuck. She's beautiful. 
Oh, indeed. So I'm gonna cut this. Mmm. It's fucked up part. Oh, she's she's a beaut, man. She's a real beaut. The fucked up uh, white part of it. Oh yeah, no, definitely. This is a price cock right here. Oh god, I feel so bad for not knowing how to properly cook this thing. <laughs> god damn it. This thing doesn't come off. Come off. It doesn't even smell like a thing, so I'm kind of glad about that. Oh Jesus Christ, I'm gonna move this out because you can see the cutting action right here. Yeah, cutting action. Let me get off. Pieces done. I put it in there and put the pan ready and shiz it. Let me move it up a little bit closer so you guys can see the cutting action of it. Oh, perfect! This is perfect. This is actually really good. So, you know, we're gonna get all the this uh, piece of here and we're gonna start cutting. Oh, yeah, look at those cuts. Prime cuts. Prime examples of cuts right now. Hmm. Yeah, I'm 100% sure these cuts are genuinely good. They're really sticky. Holy shit. I really hope this isn't expired. Cause my thing. You know, if all else fails and the chicken doesn't taste good, I have pasta, I have rice, and I have mashed potatoes. So everything else should turn out all right. There's no example, there's no reason for failure. No failures in this house. Oh my god, mother You know what, you're going with the bad pieces since you want to cut. I think I just cut like a bone or something. This isn't even, this is chicken breast, it's supposed to be boneless. Boneless pizza. Oh, she's a beaut, I wish I sharpened it. We don't have a knife sharpener. The only sharpener is at my grandma's. Then again, my dad runs a knife sharpening business. Alright, so we got our cuts. Look at this. Oh, Look at these cuts. Mm, now we're gonna make them even smaller. Just even smaller cuts, because, you know, it's supposed to be bite sized. You know, the quickest way to cooking a chicken is going to KFC. You go to KFC and you cook the chicken, you're done. It's glorious. It's the best, best chicken you ever had in your life. I'm kidding, I really hate it. Do something about these pieces. I don't want to. Uh, just, just, uh, uh, napkin, there you go. Let's put it right there. So this looks like a good cut, but I don't trust it. It was, it was on the bad side. Why should we get like one of the bad ones? Oh, yeah. Get them cuts in. Mmm. Mmm. You know what? Let me just put all the. Good cuts are here already. Cause I got them marinated in there. You know, uh, my mom. Mom was really good. Mom was a really good cook. Even though she doesn't try anything, like she doesn't taste my, she doesn't taste the food, and that bothers my sister for some reason. Uh, it doesn't bother me, cause like I mean, in the end, I know she's gonna cook really good. But for me, it's just kind of like, well, okay, you know, it's food, food, food. I've always wanted to learn how to cook, like professionally. I should have done culinary when I was in high school. And I can't say culinary now because like, I think I can actually, just maybe like a rec center or something. I don't know. I don't know, man. There's a lot of things I want to learn in this life. One of the things I really want to learn is French. I actually a bunch of languages. I think that'd be really cool to learn. You get me? Go around to different countries, different places. You know your languages, like that's really cool. One of the languages I want to learn is Japanese, to be honest with you. Uh, Japanese to me seems like, you know, okay. Because I want to spend a year in Japan. Uh, it's one of my life goals. All right, so one piece of chicken is done. We move on. Oh God, that's disgusting. You can't see it, but oh God. <laughs> I'm gonna be a chef, but hate cooking. Shit. Oh. Hello there, beautiful. So I'm gonna cut, cut you off now. Get out of here. You know 
don't even want that shit. No, but I don't even want that greasy, that weird shit. Yeah, get out of here. The two. No, no. No, but I make sure that everything is secure and fine. Hello. Hi. God, this has got to be the stupidest episode of Limited Productions ever. <laughs> I already wasted one f***ing roll on this entire dish. This better be worth it. Like, they better like, when they come home, they better like it what I'm doing. They better enjoy my food. I'm going to give you an update on that. Because this <laughs> So long. The mashed potato part, the f***ing explosion, everything. I really hope people don't think I did this on purpose though. Like the whole explosion. That, that did not happen on purpose. That was 100% real with you. Oh, my life. Yo, this is the one thing I was really anxious about the whole time I was making this dish. Just cutting the chicken. Like, I, I forgot how it felt to like cut chicken. Plus, the only things I pretty much mainly cook on a daily basis because I don't really have time to like you know cook any advanced dishes like spaghetti spaghetti is pretty hard to do uh, maybe the sauce I think is spaghetti would be pretty hard to do oh yeah I'm gonna get rid of this piece look at this baby oh Jesus I feel like the hardest part about cooking uh, spaghetti is getting the noodles right just getting that pasta right, you know? Like you gotta... You gotta like see how it cooks itself. Like the sauce and everything. Like you gotta make sure the sauce is good. Cause you know, in life... My phone just ring? Probably. No, I don't know what's going on. Oh, it did ring with Snapchat. Yeah, I don't know. You know, if all else fails, I'll just get five comments. The worst that can happen. You know? Uh, you know, at least I'm not deboning the chicken, you know? You're a knife! Cut through it! There you go. <laughs> this is the stupidest episode I've ever done. You know, bad part is, if I cut myself doing cutting the chicken, I have to throw away the whole damn dish. Because, like, you know. I get blood on the chicken, it's bad. I mean, there's already, like, blood in this thing, but, like, you get blood on the chicken, it's not, not happening. I get rid of this part. Bad chicken. Hard as blood. <laughs> that would give me salmonella, bro. If you don't know what salmonella is, I'll put a link in the bio so you know what it is. I educate yourself on this food, man. If you don't educate yourself on food, you never know. But like, you know, there's a lot of things. There's a lot of things you eat, eat there. Honestly, I could talk for hours. Because I'm pretty... I could talk for hours. Days on end, actually. Not anything, you know? One day I should... One day I want to have, like, a Q&A. A video, you know? A Q&A video, that'd be fun. Like, have people ask me questions. Stuff like that, you know? Like, send me your things and whatnot. That'd be really cool. That'd be really, really cool. I'm gonna do that one day. I'm gonna do that. Also, cross the millows. Can't wait till that one comes out. Oh, you might be wondering what happened to the bone crew and stuff. Might as well answer that. I'm still pursuing it, actually. I mean, I'm not gonna let that show die out. This is a good ass show. I know, it's got potential to be a show. And I got my three pieces of chicken. But before I actually advance on that, uh, I don't actually do want to talk with the film crew. So, uh, that show basically. I am gonna still do it. I still am gonna like incorporate it into the program and stuff because I, I'm not gonna let it die out. It's a good show. So keep that, keep on the lookout. All right, so I'm gonna start the command. You can't see me. Get to that right now. Uh, put some vegetable oil up in this pea. Oof, kind of all over the overboard with the oil. Anyway, so for this part, it's gonna be simple. Just tenderize the out of it. Just put both of my hands in there. And oh, 
that goes with parsley. So lemon pepper seasoning is gonna be all right now. So here it goes. Yeah. Yeah, getting it all up in there. Mmm. Hope it's not a lot. So lemon pepper when it gets heated, but it starts getting like really bad. So I'm gonna Yeah, we're gonna move this around. We're gonna give it a little bit of massage going on. Mm. Yeah. <laughs> it feels so weird. It feels so disgusting, but yet it's like arousing. More lemon pepper on this. You know, I can't actually wait to see how this kettle comes out cooked. You know? Like, I'm actually kind of thrilled. I actually want to see how this looks. I, I'm just gonna go with my gut instinct on this, like, to make sure it's cooked well. Anyways, so now that that's good, I need a towel. Oh, that's the one with the rice. <laughs> so now that we got that set up with the way and out of the way, uh, should be ready to cook, so here goes. Alright, so here's the comal. Uh, my chicken is right over here. I'm gonna get this shit started. Um, my knife's right there. Oh, I'm just gonna... Uh, Alright, so what I'm gonna do get these and then I'm gonna get my knife, my fork here, I'm gonna toss it in there. Three, two, fuck oh, it, that's scary. <laughs> Easy there buddy. Easy. <laughs> that's scary. Oh, okay, cool. This is a chill. I think I'm gonna have a hand. I'm just gonna. I'm gonna have a hand. 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 I'm Honestly, the chicken is looking pretty good. It is looking fine. I'm going to... I'm going to get a little bit. Uh, it does get good. It's perfect. I want to like it. You see that? It smells... It smells delish. I love it so far. Actually, the looks pretty good. I don't know. It looks pretty okay to me. Oh, look so far. You can see a little steam. It looks, looks okay. I'm gonna let it cook a little bit more now. Like that's a good idea. Uh, other than that, I think what this needs is a little bit of, not garlic powder, that's a fucking bad idea. So I'm gonna add like a little bit of pepper. I mean, it's lemon pepper, but you can't go wrong with a little bit more pepper. Not like a ton, but just a little bit. There you go, and a little bit of salt. Spice things up a bit. Well, it's not spicy. I mean, like, make it a little bit flavorful. So, voila. I put it in one area. I'm just gonna mix this around a bit. I wish, oh, sh let the chicken smell. Hey, get back in. Actually, I one of my piece. Fuck, oh, you're hot. You know what else is hot? This my. I like in two minutes this should taste really good. I hope. I really hope so. I'm gonna set up the dish and everything. And yeah. Actually let me see how this little guy is. Yeah. He looks pretty cool. Alright, so there he goes. I'm gonna taste test it. I'm not gonna lie, this is actually really good. Wow, I actually made a creation. That's actually really good, holy shit. <laughs> I'm gonna let this cook now. That's hot, oh, Jesus. Oh, I need to mix it up a bit. I think I did a great job. I'm gonna like bring everything up from there, and we should be good to go. I have a lot to clean after this video. <laughs> I have a lot to clean. 
All right, y'all, so it's been like a couple minutes. Oh, yeah, look at that steam. Can you see that steam? I should not let that get on my burn the It's got parsley, it's got more lemon pepper, it's got salt, it's got pepper, more pepper. Look at that. Really good. Yeah, I got it. It's perfectly light inside, too. So here it goes. Not too bad, I forgot it's hot. Parsley, actually, I can taste it. Wow. Wow, that's a lot of, that's a lot of flavor. That's really good, holy shit. Really good. Wow. Oh god, man, my heart hurt a bit. <laughs> Actually, you know what? This is really good. I, I'm proud of it. So here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna warm up everything else I did later on, and I'm gonna put it in a dish. It's gonna be a paper plate. I don't want to dirty other dishes. I have to do a lot. I'm gonna do everything, I'm gonna see how it looks, and I'll let anyone be the judge. So, as you guys, here goes.